just the way that you're playing right now, you know, you can tell that you are healthier, but you're skating with a lot of confidence. How good do you feel on the ice in these games? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. And, um, you know, they're all intense games. They're easy to get up for. They're easy to, uh, you know, get involved in. And, um, you know, we, we're desperate for points, and, and every game matters so much. So, I mean, you just go out there every shift and do whatever you can to help, and it's easy to focus on that. You know, all year it's been talked about uh, Seth Jones and Zach Wierenski, how they jump up on the play, they get involved offensively. For anybody that forgot that from the time you got here, you were that kind of player, you're showing it again. I mean, last night I saw you circling around behind the net a couple of times, just trying to create plays. And again, that goes with that confidence that you have in your own game right now, doesn't it? Yeah, and, uh, you know, I think we're all just trying to get up in the rush as much as we can. Um, you know, it's a big big thing to our game is trying to get that four-man attack. and. And, uh, you know, interchanging with the D and one guy go, one guy stay back. And, and uh, you know, there's a few times in the, in the offensive zone there where guys just start circling and guys just start playing hockey. And it's, it's fun to play that way when you don't have to stick to your kind of zone on the ice. You can move around and it's hard to defend. You know, it's, it's really hard for, for their guys to pick us up too. So um, I think that everyone's just trying to do that same thing, get up in the rush and, and play offense as much as we can. And not only play offense, but then defense. I mean, the shot blocking on this team right now has been tremendous. Mm -hmm. um, sticks in the passing lanes, all those little things that need to be done to win games. You guys have been doing them consistently. It's huge. It really is huge. Um, you know, you never know when a game's going to change. The momentum of a game is going to change. And when you get that huge block or that big defensive play and you go back the other way and get a few chances, it can really swing the swing the game around. So, um, you know, you don't really know until afterwards what those big plays are going to be. but. Um, you know, you see it sometimes where there's a there's a point shot or something. There's a huge block, and then you know the next three minutes we're in the offensive zone. So, um, those are the types of plays that uh, that we want to keep making and, and making sure that we don't uh, kind of get zoned in on just offense. We want to make sure that uh, we're making those big plays in the defensive zone. And, and our goalies have been outstanding for us as well, so that's really helped. At this time of the year, when there's a team that's not yet guaranteed a playoff spot. One of the cliches is always, well, we've been in the playoffs for a long time. We've been playing playoff hockey just to try to get into the playoffs. How have you guys made playing this style of hockey look so easy over the course of the past two plus weeks? Well, I don't think it's easy. I think it's just a constant focus and it's a constant, um, you know, a reminder every day that we come in here that, uh, you know, how much we need the points and, and we have to do the job out there. You know, that's, you know, whoever we're playing, it doesn't matter. We just have to go out there and be better than the other team. And, uh, and there's a lot of desperate teams in the league right now, and there's a lot of teams that are just, uh, you know, kind of free flowing and playing scrimmage out there, and both are dangerous. So we, we want to make sure that we're uh, staying focused. And the fun factor is a big thing. When you win, it's fun. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's better than losing. Yeah. St. Louis, the next team that you'll play, uh, dangerous team. They'll be on the, the back half of a back to back, so maybe an advantage there for you, but not an advantage if you don't play the right way. Yeah, I mean, it, for us, you know, we know they're on a back-to-back, -back, but um, you know, that, that shouldn't matter for us because sometimes, you know, that can give uh, some camaraderie to the other team too is when they're kind of back against the wall, so to speak. Um, you know, sometimes on a back-to-back, -back, you even feel better sometimes, you know. It, it just depends, and, and uh, you know, we, we, don't, we don't really care what happens tonight. We just want to make sure that, uh, you know, we're focused tomorrow.